Today, we'll be talking about the Mauser 960 Assault System Standard Issue Rifle. Mauser and Gray Firearms was founded by Johan Mauser and Herschel Gray in 2319 on Donegal. MEG wanted to produce firearms not only for the military, but for the general market and security personnel. After the fall of the Terran Alliance in 2315, MEG Arms dropped straight into a niche market for personal firearms from its weapon manufacture plants on Mars and Donegal. Through the years, the company expanded operations of personal weapons for every major nation and provided advanced weaponry for the SLDF exclusively. It took heavy losses during the succession wars and the only plant left afterwards from the aftermath was this plant on Donegal. Including not only the Mauser 960 assault system rifle, Imogy Firearms produced the G27 and G150 hunting rifles. The M27 and M39 kneeler guns, also the fire drake incendiary support weapon after 3060 for heavy infantry and battle armor squads. The Mauser 960 assault system was made with the infantry soldier in mind. It's pulse laser technology where it fires several laser beams in quick succession with a grenade launcher and a retractable fiber blade bayonet was at the time the best technology available on the military market. Battle tested and approved, this rifle made everything else in the market feel inadequate against it. The stock even helped the soldier on the field with a small survival kit included. In the stock was assortment of supplies such as emergency flares, flashlight, pulse signal stick, an emergency radio, folding spade, small medical kit, and a two-day supply of nutrition pills, even toilet paper. The Mauser 960 assault rifle was used by the SLTF on its Nighthawk Mark 21 light power armor systems that was mass produced in 2720. These suits were mainly used by the Special Forces as the SLTF wanted to keep them a secret from the general populace. Few, if any, Mauser 960 survived to the 31st century, and if they did, a majority were so battle-worn that it's very rare to see one, and most of all, all of them were antiques sold at auctions or used as museum pieces and displays in personal collections. Only Comstar maintained a huge stockpile of these rifles in working order and had them being used by the Com Guards. The clans used what it had of its leftovers of this rifle after the exodus and armed their infantry with the Mauser 960s, but used the design to manufacture the Mauser 2C infantry assault system later on. And that's it everybody, thank you for watching, I do appreciate it. Hit that like button and subscribe if you guys can. This is Old Bob 10025 and I'll see you on the battlefield.